Heart of England training has been offering apprenticeships across the Midlands region for over 40 years. We offer apprenticeships at levels 2 to 5. We do apprenticeships for office-based businesses, we do apprenticeships for schools and we do apprenticeships for salons in hairdressing and beauty therapy. Where it's a practical skill like hairdressing and beauty therapy, we have training academies in Rugby, Birmingham, Coventry and Leicester. Where it's a more office-based skill, we visit apprentices in the workplace and they're supported by workshops which are online at the moment um, and or face-to-face. -face. The schools route is a mixture of either younger people that want to get in to be a teaching assistant for example. We also do a sports teaching assistant route which is quite popular with young people and we offer the whole suite of apprenticeships for schools. So we do school business manager which is proving really popular and appropriate for schools learning mentor for more one-to-one -one support sort of roles. An apprenticeship is a really great credible option as a different option to staying at school or carrying on at college. You work with an employer, it will give you skills that you've got for life and you can progress on to further apprenticeships, we do right up to level five, or you can use that apprenticeship as a foot in the door to go back to universities. We offer employers a full recruitment service. We use the National Apprenticeship website. We've got a recruitment team that's office based, so they set up interviews for young people and do all that work for employers. Sometimes it's with employers, you know, sometimes we'll do joint interviews together. And then we've also got an advisory team that will meet face to face with the apprentices and, and move that process along. It was last year when I, when I started as apprenticeship manager, the add-on was overseeing the data. So the data side of things is we use an e-portfolio called OneFile. So there's reports we can run on there and without going into too much detail and boring you with that, that's sort of like the figures side of things and the stats which you can condense and use in performance reviews with the staff. I predominantly oversee our schools and business sectors. Um, but we also, and where we started really, was hair and beauty. Without stating the obvious, that's not my forte. A lot of our business for a long time has been schools based that I've been involved with. We've also worked with a lot of sort of, a lot of companies that have needed business admin apprentices and customer service apprentices. In the past year or two, particularly ironically this year, last year with COVID, going more remote, it's opened up more doors and we've had a lot of interest in project management, the high level stuff, level four project management, level five management. I struggled quite badly at school. Um, I have dyslexia, so when it came to learning at school, it was a massive problem for me. And then when I started working for my employee now, they sort of said, what do you want to do? Do you want to come in as apprentice it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Signed up for Hoit, um, and it really helped me out because it gave me the grades I needed, which I couldn't get at school. My customer service one, was very beneficial. Um, with the role I do in my business, I am very customer service. Um, it's one of the highest things I need in my job role. So learning to do that and doing that apprenticeship helped me understand customers better, how to talk to customers, especially when complaints come in, how I can handle them um, and be able to uh, fit their needs, learn about what needs they need for the removal side of things as well. So definitely the customer service was a better understanding of it yeah they have everything in front of them they know exactly how to work with you and Donna knew I had dyslexia right from the beginning she was able to help me with everything understand everything and break it down so I was able to understand the work better because you get the experience of working and in an environment and also doing course um, if you are a student like me which you did suffer with school or you struggled to learn I would highly recommend going down the um, apprenticeship route yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's definitely sort of a, a way forward really. Like I say, it's not suited to all. Some people are suited to sort of that college uh, full-time study programme route, but it is great if you can start off as an, as an apprentice. It just gives you a little bit more behind you. We can have somebody uh, apply through the National Apprenticeship Service website where we will sift through applicants, uh, shortlist and then put them forward to the employers or um, it might be the case that a salon literally has an apprentice already there, they might have been a Saturday person and we would naturally then just enrol them onto their qualification. We'd look really for, you know, for skills if they've had experience working in the salon or if they've got any sort of customer service experience or sometimes it's just school leavers. Most salons do tend to like school leavers so they can mould them to their salon and, and, and build them as, you know, as, as part of their team really. 
So we've had um, a few apprentices, um, you know, that have uh, done their level two, done their level three, and actually gone on to have their own salon, and then have apprentices through us. So we're literally like seeing that whole cycle of where, you know, they will, you know, they'll do their apprenticeship through us, and then actually, you know, we ask them that question, oh, what's your end goal? Yeah, I'd love to have my own salon. And then they actually have, have it, and then want apprentices through, through us and start that whole process again, really. So, and that's really good um, and encouraging. It's great for, for learners to hear that as well, to say that actually that, that can happen. You learn that qualification, you're earning a bit of money, it's real hands-on. You've got, you know, nine times out of 10, the idea is, is when you have an apprenticeship, you stay on in that job as well. So you've almost got guaranteed employment afterwards as well. Why I chose an apprenticeship is because it's kind of on the job. You know, it's it, you're learning at the same time, but earning as well at the same time. And although for me, when you've been on quite a high wage, doing what I did before, like I say, going down to the apprentice wage was a bit of a shock to the system, but I knew it was something that I would have to do to get to where I wanted to be. At the minute, I'm doing full head foils, um, which is one of my last two assessments that I need to get done. So yeah, I'm just trying to kind of look back on anything that I've done, think where I can pick up speed or you know anything like that. Um, and just same as anything, just keep practicing until I get where I need to be. It is a skill that you will have for life, even if I was to move abroad or anything like that, it's something that I'll take with me. But people are always gonna need their haircut, so job for life. I would say do it. Don't do what I did and, and wait till you're later on in life and wish that you had done something. Just do it, you will not regret it.